Howdy, Howdy ramblers. ramblers. So we're here at Drake's Brewing Company, which you can see behind us. There it is. And we are here, it's my birthday, and we did some tasting. We have our tasting sheet, and we graded okay, all of the beers that we tried. We got a sampler. That's right, they have their barrel house back here where they store, they have a lot of barrel aged beers, and they store them there. And uh, it's uh, kind of, it says, sign says behind Walmart, it's more to the side of Walmart. So, I'll try and give you a picture so you don't get lost. Right uh, but why don't you tell us about the first thing we had? Sure, so we tried a gold, which is just a British pale boring. ale, and it was kind of boring, had a little grassy undertone, Ooh. we gave it a C. Then after that we tried Hefeweizen, which was really good. It actually tastes a lot like the one that we usually brew, uh, more of a German style, and they got that A-. minus. Really, really nice uh, citrus notes there. And uh, the next one we had was the Red Eye. It was a red ale. Gave it an A. Um, you know, this is going to be a lot like an IPA for a lot of people. And it's a nice dark amber color, light red. Um, really great pine and herbal notes, a lot of balance, a little bit of caramel on the tongue, um, but with a nice, like, hoppy flavor coming through. Really well balanced, so definitely an A. Then after that we had the 1500, which is a, what is it, a pale amber? Uh, I said it was a, a hoppy a American hoppy pale. Hoppy American pale. Kind of an extra pale. Amber colored. But it was really good. It was pretty much like drinking trees. It tasted like pine, really heavy pine, even in the taste. Couldn't really get past that. Not much else. Uh, yeah, and I'm a big fan of that uh, sometimes, so I would give it a higher score. We gave it a B plus because you know, if you're not into the piney flavor at all, it's not going to have anything else for you. So if you like a piney hop flavor, go for the 1500. You know, if you don't, maybe pick something that's got a little more uh, mixture of flavors going on. Yep. And then the last one we tried was the Hopocalypse. Hopocalypse. I can't say it right. The green label. Hop, hop, <laughs> yeah, the Hopocalypse. Hopocalypse. Anyway, it was really good. Super hoppy. It blew me away. It tasted like pe uh, peaches and floral notes afterwards. A little bit of citrus and pine. Really deep peach smell when you actually put your nose in it smells like fermented peaches um, uh, not a lot of caramel notes yeah. but a really great uh, thick syrupiness to the body that really helps balance how hoppy the beer is we gave it an a it's amazing uh, how much it brings through just the both the aroma and the flavor of, of peaches especially white peaches gonna have to figure out what, what, what hop is uh, responsible for that but that's uh, pretty much it for our little adventure. We did get some... Transition! Transition! We got uh, Imperial Stout. And uh, that's going to be to go with uh, birthday dessert tonight. Birthday! Birthday beer, birthday dessert. And uh, so you probably will be seeing this after Amber's birthday, but yep. wish her a happy birthday anyways. Thank you! And that should be it. That's pretty much it. Drake's Brewing, San Leandro. Barrel House is right back there. Until next time, ramble, ramble on! on.